Welcome to the Wharton Sports Business Initiative video blog. This is Andrew Brand. I'm with Ken Shropshire. Today we're going to talk about the big issue of the NFL offseason. Last year was the lockout. This year it's the bounties. The Saints case has dominated the headlines in the NFL as it seems to every year. There's something off the field, Ken, that dominates the headline. What I want to talk about today is these appeals and the Saints showing all this outrage that how could Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, be judge and jury and executioner and the quality of the evidence that they paid for injury and whether it's paper performance or paper injury. I guess before I get to you, my, my take is that it's too late. Uh, a year ago they went through this collective bargaining, a long involved process. One of the issues was do the players fight for this conduct appeal process to be independent? And in the swirl of negotiations it looks like they gave it up. They went for other issues, health and safety and a little more money conduct stays with Roger Goodell. It seems a little misplaced right now to have this outrage that Goodell controls the process the way he does a year later. No, you're right. I mean, we're, we're in full agreement on this. The, the, the big problem uh, is the focus if the players have a case should be on whether or not this happened. I mean, truth, truth is their only, right. only defense in this case. And, and so far, uh, they haven't presented evidence that, that pushes Goodell in any direction but the way he seems to be headed. You know, fair with Goodell, I guess, is a relative term. You know, was it fair that Ben Roethlisberger got six games for conduct that was while vile, wasn't criminal? Was it fair that Michael Vick got five games after two years in prison? Is it fair that he's punishing these Saints players for leadership roles in a scheme that may have been paid for hitting really hard or may have been paid for knocking players out, you know? The, the the point is, it's the court of Goodell. It's not the court of law. It's not hearsay and circumstantial don't really matter. So this is a huge issue in sports that commissioners can rule on this, but it's an issue negotiated in CBA. And Goodell's going fully for this force of what's in the best interest of the game. And I want to stop this piece. I don't want this kind of activity taking place. And certainly I don't want it to be taking place in such a public way. And I also don't want teams or players, if you're questioned about these activities, are not to be truthful. So that seems to be a bigger piece of the case as well. So yeah. the, the power of the commissioner is a, is a big stake in this case. Uh, like you say, across sports, this is something that uh, from the beginning, commissioners have had a great power to protect the game, and that's really where Goodell is headed. Do you think, you know, not trying to play devil's advocate, looking at the player's side here, do you think he's gone too far here? Well, I don't know. You know it's, it's all relative. What's, what's too far? I mean, yeah. it's clear he wanted to make a big statement. And, and if you uh, sanction somebody uh, too much, that, that, that's really what this appeal process may deal with. If they can put some evidence out there, you know, maybe look at some precedents and say it's never been this extreme before. But this has never happened before. Right. I mean, this, this whole bounty scenario is something new, at least to be publicly revealed, revealed in this kind of way. And I don't think any discipline's in a vacuum. You know, we got two 2,500 lawsuits here, amassing here in Philadelphia about concussions and health and, and head injuries and trauma and these old guys that are losing, you know, mental awareness. It's all part of this. I mean, I think the health and safety issue is part of why he's acting so strongly here. And I understand players feel like, hey, you know, we're getting screwed, but timing is everything in life. This was not the time to have the scheme, whatever the scheme is. Right, and this is a continuation of the kind of activity Goodell has put in place since he's taken office uh, to, to first get to just off the field player discipline issues, and, and now he's really focused on the field. So, so there is a pattern. There is there is something, some strategy to uh, the way he's acting in terms of the punishments he's he's giving out. And to wrap it up, the appeals should come down any day now. My my best guesstimate is that he will keep the appeals, but he may allow a carrot for the players if they do the right thing and address head and safety issues. They may give it, he may give them a financial reward. In other words, not less than the game suspended, but less than the financial penalty is what he's done before. And I guess that would be my guess. He doesn't reduce the suspensions, but maybe some financial reward if they do the right thing. You? Well, you know, we, so we did see in past cases where he, where he said, I will have the right to lessen the punishment if you if you perform well. Do the right thing. So, so the right. Michael Vick kind of kind of aura that that I'll let you come back earlier. So we may see some of that, but but in terms of of, of much movement, otherwise at this moment, I, I don't think we're going to see anything. 
That's our first edition of the uh, Wharton Video Blog, Wharton Sports Business Initiative. See you next time. I'm Andrew Brandt with Ken Shropshire.